Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. This is Atlanta and Company. I'm Christine Pallara. So happy to be with you. I hope you had a safe and happy long weekend, holiday weekend. Uh, we had a really pleasant one. I can't say it was anything super exciting. Uh, you know, we kind of did a lot of family things, uh, a lot of chores around the house, but it felt good to get a lot of things done. Um, and now it's kind of back to reality. You know, it's the unofficial close to summer is kind of what I've always thought about Labor Day weekend. So it's, there's a little bit of sadness, but also excitement as we get into fall. I know Kara Kinnear might agree, because uh, this has seemed like the longest spring and summer of our lives for all of us, I think. I'm going to go ahead and say it. So perhaps being like officially <laughs> back to school, ready to, you know, get back into the swing of things. It's a good thing, I think. Yeah, I think we're in the swing of whatever things we're in. I don't know, but time is trudging along and we're all healthy, so that's good. And we're going to start this week off with some great yes. stories to get you all in a good mood in case you're not. Hope you had a relaxing weekend yes. to everyone out there. Um, we're going to start with a little homecoming for a very special family, the Della Shaws. Now, 11 Alive, we had video of their homecoming last week, but we just at here at Atlanta and Company, since we celebrate babies, we wanted to send you a, a special greetings and we welcome do. home. So the Della Shaw family, um, Courtney, the mother, uh, had quadruplets in January. And how can you imagine how crazy it must oh have been God. for not only to bring four no. beautiful humans into the world, but then to have them in January and then to go through a pandemic uh, because they had some issues. So they were put into the NICU. So they got to go home just last week. They're all thriving and doing well. So we just want to say we are with you and we're so happy that they're healthy and you have many reasons to smile, Courtney, you and your family. And I also just wanted to tell you, um, so it's three boys and a girl too. It was Owen, Noah, Aaron, and Lizzie. And when I started reading about her and um, so just thinking about all the things she must have been going through and how all the procedures in the hospital must have been so um, interesting and then add COVID into it, uh, I wish I could have held your hand, Courtney, right. while you were going through that. But my girlfriend from high school had quads. She has a very popular blog. It's called fortunet.net. And um, maybe you've already found her because she's Fortunate. kind of um, known as a quad mom. But um, check her out. Seek her out because she's probably been through what you're going through right now. And I know you're home with four babies and you're like, oh, what do I do? So we're thinking about you. It's a long way to say we're thinking about, wow. <laughs> about you, Courtney. Can you imagine four babies? Four Listen, babies, all at no, time. Kara, I can't. I thought one was hard enough. Okay, <laughs> I can't imagine four, and especially throw in, you know, having to be isolated and quarantined. So uh, we are here for you. And that blog, that sounds amazing. I'm sure she could get a lot of support and resources there, and <laughs> a lot of, um, you know, aha moments or yeah. moments that you know she could totally relate to. So I love it. Exactly. Wow. I remember my girlfriend Jennifer had this video that she had sent me shortly after when her quad started eating and she had this table made that was a big circle like a donut and she sat in the middle and she kind of piv pivoted on a chair and fed all okay. her children. It was amazing. Um, okay. That is so cute. <laughs> Moving along. That's amazing. Uh, we wanted to also <laughs> give a special birthday shout out to Brownie because Brownie is celebrating his second birthday at the Gwinnett animal shelter and Aww. we wanted to, you to know about him in Cute. case you're looking for a four-legged friend to keep you company um brownie has been there for a year and the staff instead of celebrating that he's still at the shelter and hasn't been adopted yet they thought you know what we're going to throw brownie a righteous party and here's what we're going to do we're going to give him all the tennis balls the pool Love in it. the yard the treats that he wants the cool blue hat that i also think i had for Aww. my birthday but that's another sidebar um and yeah, so if you want to adopt Brownie, look him up at animalrescue at GwinnettCounty.com. And um, the woman there who's one of his tear cake, tear cake, ta care, care takers, care than it looks, takers, um, I know. <laughs> said that he's a, a sweet, Tuesday. sweet boy and he just needs to be loved and a little extra attention, but he's going to make a great pet for somebody. So look up Brownie if you're so inclined to do so. What a sweetheart. Oh, I love that one, Kara. And I mean, Yay. yes, the big party for him and everything. That is so sweet. You know, Jim's school is in Gwinnett, so we might have to take a little 
take a little tour, mm -hmm. see if we want to adopt a brownie. It's good to know. A little detour. If the girls get me in a, in a, a weak little, moment, a little school it might happen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There you go. Maybe so. There you go. Right, I think we have time right, for I one more. I want to get this last story in really quick, Christine. Okay, good, because I think you're going to be amazed by this incredible human being. So in a week's time, the world's, the country's oldest veteran, Lawrence Brooks, is, Brooks, is going to turn 111 years old. So Mr. Brooks oh normally goodness. has a party in New Orleans at the World War II Museum because he was stationed in the Pacific in the 91st Engineer Battalion, and now he just dotes over all of his kids and grandkids. He has 23 great-grandchildren, but normally they have a party for him every year uh, because, wow, he looks so great, and he can still get down with the best of them, but obviously COVID took that away. Yeah. So instead, we are asking you to send Mr. Brooks a birthday letter. Please do it. I have started mine this morning. Yes. Um, you can send it to the National World War II Museum that's in New Orleans. The address is 945 okay. Magazine Street. 70130 is the zip for New Orleans right there, the World War II Museum. And just say, care of happy 111th birthday, Mr. Brooks. How 11. Amazing. Oh what a blessed life you've led, sir. Thank that is amazing. <laughs> Absolutely. Here, here. So cool. And by the way, we'll ask so Trent cool. to put that address up because one of the things we know about our Atlanta and Company viewers is that they're so generous and they like to take the time to do the small acts of kindness because they know that it goes a long way. So thank you, Kara Kinnear. And yes. you're not going anywhere. September, September stay 12th. Put in that beautiful okay. backyard. No. September 12th. Okay, we got to get on that. All right, if you have a fun or interesting It's All Good story, please send it with Kara. Send it to Kara so she can share it right here on the show. Facebook.com slash ATL and Co. Or tweet us using that hashtag. It's all good. I almost had that hashtag, have you heard? No, well, that's a hashtag too. But coming up is our have you heard segment. And guess what? Meghan and Prince Harry are about to embark on a whole new kind of royal adventure. 